your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Good evening, I'm Trish Close. Hi, Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. Search and rescue crews are still looking for a Portland woman who's been missing for four days now. Grace DeBotts was last seen near the Klamath River. Newsom's Aaron Nielsen spoke with Siskiyou County investigators about what they found so far in their search. That's tonight's Top Story at 6. The Siskiyou County Sheriff's Department jumped back in the boat in the Klamath River armed with an underwater camera to search for a missing 27-year-old woman from Portland. Sheriff deputies say they're glad they got a break in the storm so it could get help from a helicopter for its search for Grace Sabats. The weather has not uh, cooperated with us uh, for the last, well, since Friday. It's been raining and there's been extreme overcast and it's just not the multiple or the, uh, the best conditions to, to uh, do some kind of operation like this. Do you hear from CHP? Let them know it's uh, still clear, clouds are lifted. Lieutenant Bucky Jefferson says Sabats was on her way to Oakland and stopped near the Ski and Bar River Access on Highway 96. A deputy on their way to Happy Camp stopped and spoke with Sabats at the River Access Point the day before she was reported missing. Lieutenant Jefferson says the car was found here the next morning and they have reason to believe Sabats entered the river about 30 yards from here. There is evidence leads us to believe that the subject walked into the river and never exited. The Sheriff's Department sent mobile patrols and a California Highway Patrol helicopter to search the area for Sabats. We went ahead and went up river a little further than where we've, we, uh, we believe that the subject entered the water. And um, we checked that, we checked everything down river to the rapids down there and all the pockets and there's, we haven't had any luck. Jefferson says despite more rain on the way, they will continue the search in any way possible. Depending on what the weather does, I understand there's supposed to be a 100% chance of uh, precipitation tomorrow, so that's going to limit what we can do. So, But uh, we're, we'll continue, that's for sure. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10. Lieutenant Jefferson says this was only the second day they've been able to use the underwater camera on the boat and the helicopter because of the weather.